I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutang mag-subscribe at hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaral natin ngayon tungkol sa graphing a linear equation using the intercept method. So, ito yung pangatlong method na ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano tayo makakapag-graph ng linear equation. So, ano ba yung mga steps na kailangan natin sundan para makapag-graph ng linear equation using the intercept method? So, let's start. To graph a linear equation using the intercept method, so, we need to follow these steps. First, locate the x-intercept. So, let y equals to 0. So, kailangan ng mahanap nating ordered pair ay maglalay sa ating horizontal axis or x-axis. So, ang tawag doon ay x-intercept. So, let y equals 0. 2. Locate the y-intercept. Let x equals to 0. Hahanap din tayo ng ordered pair na maglalay doon naman sa vertical axis or doon sa ating y-axis. At ang tawag doon ay y-intercept. And then, as a check, find the third point by choosing a convenient value for x, then solve for the value of y. So, ito yung katulad sa table of values. mag a lang tayo ng isang value for x as our checkpoint. And then, after that, draw a line through the points. So, let's have our first example. Graph, 3x minus 4y equals to negative 12. Let y equals to 0. So, we are going to use the equation 3x minus 4y equals to 12. Para mahanap natin yung values ng x, we just substitute y as 0. So, ito yung madaling mag-solve kasi ay any number multiplied by 0, the answer is 0. So, therefore, 3x minus 4 times 0 equals to negative 12. Then, 3x equals to negative 12. Then, divide both sides by 3 or MPE. So, the answer is x equals to negative 4. So, therefore, our first ordered pair is negative 4, 0. And that is our x-intercept. On the other hand, so let us find the y-intercept by letting x equals to 0. So, we have 3x minus 4y equals to 12. Substitute lang natin yung x as 0. Minus 4y equals to 12. Then... Negative 4y equals to negative 12 and then divide both sides by negative 4. So, negative 12 divides negative 4 is positive 3. Okay? Our next ordered pair is 0, 3 and that is our y-intercept. And then, for our last ordered pair, we need to have a checkpoint. So, nag-assign ako dito ng values of, of x. So, any number or any integers ay pwede nyo gamitin. So, this time, gumamit ako ng 4. So, 3x minus 4y equals to negative 12. So, 3 times 4 minus 4y equals to negative 12. Pinalta lang natin yung x ng 4. So, 3 times 4 is 12 minus 4y equals to negative 12. Again, 3 times 4 is 12. Minus 4y equals to negative 12. So, i-combine natin yung constant sa kabilang side. So, get the additive inverse of positive 12. It will become negative 12. Nilipat natin sa right side. Then, negative 4y equals to negative 12 minus 12 is negative 24. You just add and then copy the sign. Then, divide both sides by negative 4. Therefore, y equals to positive 6. Negative 24 divides negative 4 is positive 6. For our last ordered pair, we have 4 and 6. The three ordered pairs are negative 4, 0, 0, 3, and 4, 6. Okay, let us graph by plotting the three points in the Cartesian plane. So, yun po yung negative 4, 0. It lies on the x-axis. And then, 0, 3 
lies on the y-axis and for the last ordered pair we have our checkpoint four and six then last step would be connect the three points to draw a straight line so that will be the graph of a linear equation 3x minus 4y equals to negative 12. Okay, for our last example, graph 2x plus 3y equals to 9 using the intercept method. So, let y equals to 0. So, our equation is 2x plus 3y equals to 9. We just substitute the value of y as 0. Therefore, it will become 2x equals to 9. And then, divide both sides by 2. So, 9 divides 2 is 4.5 or 4 and 1 half. So, our x-intercept is 4.50. On the other hand, let x equals to 0. So, 2x plus 3y equals to 9. Pinaltan lang yung x na 0. Then, it will become 3y equals to 9. And then, divide both sides by 3. y equals to positive 3. So, our y-intercept is 0, 3. And for our checkpoint, so I assign value for x, which is 3. Again, pwede kayo mag-assign ng kahit anong value ng x. So you have 2x plus 3y equals to 9. So 2 times 3 plus 3y equals to 9. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3y equals to 9. And then, get the additive inverse of 6. Ilipat natin sa right side. So it will become 3y equals to 9 minus 6. Then, 3y equals to 9 minus 6 is 3. Then, divide both sides by 3. 3 divides 3. y equals 1. So, our last ordered pair is 3, 1. The three ordered pairs are 4.50, 0, 3, and 3, 1. So, we are going to plot the three points in our Cartesian coordinate plane. So, let's start with 4.50. So, yun po yung 4.50 na sa ating x-axis. How about 0, 3? So, yun po yung ating 0, 3. And for our checkpoint, 3, 1. So, yun po yung ating 3, 1 as a quadrant 1. And then, connect the three points by drawing a straight line. So, that will be the graph of 2x plus 3y equals 9. So I hope that you learned something today about graphing using the intercept method. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka sa ating mga video. So see you on my next video tutorial. God bless us all. Thank you.